Hunting for military and first responder discounts is historically required going from one website to another, creating multiple accounts and logins to make purchases and jumping through various hoops to verify your service. Don't you wish there was one place you could visit that had carefully I crafted do. selection? I do. Yeah, there should be. And GovX is the ones bringing it to you. I love it. They carefully craft a selection of deals for military and first responders in one spot. GovX works directly with brands to negotiate the best prices possible because you deserve the gear you need at the prices you've earned. Plus, you can trust that the gear you're ordering is 100% authentic, direct from the manufacturer. A huge collection of gear and apparel from popular brands all in one convenient location. How awesome is that? Signing up for GovX is fast, easy, and totally free. So if you're an American of service, anyone with military, firefighting, emergency medical, or law enforcement experience, join GovX and enjoy the site that honors and gives back to patriots like you. Use Jabs15 for $15 off your first order of $50 or more. GovX.com. Savings for those who serve. Love it. So we're joined today by the VP of Marketing, Aaron Palander from GovX. Uh, also, welcome back to the Jazz Podcast, everybody. John, Jamie, and Stipe here. Boom! We have our guest today, Aaron. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm doing great. Glad to be here. So uh, real quick, as we start to get into this, for anybody that doesn't know, can you give us a rundown of uh, what uh, the story behind GovX is and uh, what you guys do for everybody? Yeah. Awesome. That's pretty much what it is. They're fucking awesome. Just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, soon, soon you'll be able to see uh, some commercials on TV where Steve is explaining it himself. But uh, Jamie, we are a, a and Jamie. Sorry, I left out the star. Mm -hmm. We're uh, we're a shopping site that that's built exclusively for for those that have served uh, either our country or our communities. And uh, we started ten years ago. We just celebrated our tenth either birthday or anniversary, whatever you want to call it, in uh, August. Uh, we have just over 5 million members that are now signed up for the site. So as long as you did or do uh, one of the jobs like serve in our military, firefighter like Steve Bay and Jamie, uh, law enforcement, uh, those types of professions, you're, you have access to the site and it's free to join. And once you have access to the site, we work with uh, probably getting up close to a thousand different brands, entertainers, uh, sports teams, et cetera, to provide discounted prices on products and services like that to our members. So that's the summary. Great so deals you, on everything that this audience likes. Yeah, well, so you know what sucks for John real quick? You know what sucks for John is that I'm, he I'm serves himself. Yeah. He serves himself, yeah. but you can't sign up. <laughs> so well, before, what's yeah. Steve you know, you know two guys, John. Steve, yeah, that's that, right. Yeah. Steve, that you weren't down here, and uh, John was like, "So, like, do I get an account or something now?" Fuck no, like, you're absolutely not. I will, I will not. I will I'm fight shunned. it to the end. I'm shunned. <laughs> that's all right, though. I think, hey, from an outsider's perspective, for anybody that serves, you they know, don't wear kids' clothes. No, for They'll anybody. Serve. I was trying to be nice here. For anybody that serves, I think that's a tremendous thing that you guys do for them to give them a discount. I mean, just. Uh, for everything that they sacrifice, it's more than, you know, so actually, you know, it's nice badass. You like this one too. Stuff. So yeah. I was on their website for the last week and I was looking at their spotters for oh, uh, and range, I, finders? range finders and they want a perfect one for golf. There you go. It's not for golf, but you can use it for golf. See, uh, you're welcome. Yeah, Aaron. So, uh, you probably don't know, but I am a, uh, a golf and unnecessary. He's terrible. He's life, terrible. So, yeah, I'm not good. <laughs> Jamie alone. golfs once a year and he beats his ass. Correct. Yeah. I'm right there with you. Yeah, a little he, more frequently than once a year, but probably worse than you are. His, uh, but he needs his range finder, and those of us who don't golf often, every time he pulls it out, we just make fun of him. <laughs> that's funny. I yeah. just do I just do par threes, so I don't need much range. Awesome. That, that's well, John has mean. two two range finders. One is the one he takes a golf course. The one on his phone is called uh, Tinder. Yeah, that's some shit. <laughs> I mean, like I, that yeah. one was a good setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's pretty good. The Thank one you. on my phone that's called Tinder though doesn't work very well. No, <laughs> you have to swipe left, uh, my friend. Hey, Aaron. So you said you guys just celebrated your tenth uh, birthday uh, for GovX, right? So how long have you right. been involved with them, and uh, what's your story like? How did you get involved with those guys? Yeah, I've been with the company now just over seven years. So not from the beginning, but but pretty close to it. Um, you know, I, I got involved mostly for trips to Cleveland and uh, commercials, but the other the other reasons were, uh, you know, the team, there's there's some folks that I worked with previously, the audience we serve was a big attraction for me, and then just the opportunity. We were, you know, it was a, it was a smaller company seven years ago, and uh, getting a chance to come in and have an impact with kind of the direction of how the marketing team evolved, um, the ways that the company could support the the military and first responder community beyond just 
selling products. Um, a big, a big component of what we try to do is, is support for the community, you know, by donating to nonprofits, um, getting involved in local things here in San Diego and Southern California and elsewhere when we can. And so having a hand in that for these last seven years has been, you know, just a really enjoyable experience for me. Um, so those are the main reasons I, I kind of got started and it's been a lot of fun to see you grow. Uh, well, you you kind of, I, I know, you're, I know you're good. He's all James all excited right now. I am. <laughs> I haven't seen so man. listen, I've been in the job for 20 years now and. Well, um, never, never. Jay's what? been around since like the 1700s. Yeah, but I've been in a fireman <laughs> until 20 years ago. Uh, Whatever. Um, so I've been there kind of from the beginning uh, of watching a lot of these companies pop up that offer, you know, discounts to first responders, but you had to jump through every hoop known to mankind. Um, there were different things that you had to go through and then the discounts weren't that great. And in the end, my time is worth more than probably what the discounts were. were. And, and so what you guys have done is kind of, you super superseded that it's so easy to sign up. And then on top of it, working with these nonprofits is like that sets you guys so far apart from everybody else. You know, nobody else is doing that. Nobody else. And then that for me, you know, I volunteer a lot of time with nonprofits in this area. So that's near and dear to my heart, man. So, so talk a little bit more about that. You guys have a monthly program. Is that correct? Yeah. So we started, that was one of the first things I started when I joined was uh, what we called at the time mission give back. We, we call it GovX gives back now. And it's taken different shapes over the years, but the, the main point is we try to find various ways to raise funds for nonprofits that are serving, like I said, the military or, or first responder community. Um, just even you know the, the newer relationship we have here with Stipe, that's one component of it. And we you know we wanted to come out and film some commercials, and um, you know that there's a reason for that, so we can uh, generate more brand awareness for the company, but. The other aspect of how we're working together is um, folded in with GovX Gives Back. So Stipe, you know, in collaboration with us, we're picking a product or a brand each month and highlighting that on the site, posting it on social. Stipe is posting it on his channels, and five percent of the sales of that product for the month will, will go towards whichever nonprofit we're supporting through GovX Gives Back in that month. So. Uh, like last month, for example, it was the Theragun yeah. massager, which, you know, Stipe, he, he had in the commercial, we used in the commercial. And, you know, we were able to raise, I think, somewhere around $3,000 just from sales awesome. from that last month. Um, but all told, last month, we were able to raise near $20,000 for the nonprofit we supported. So we're somewhere over a million dollars in support um, since we started the program. And this is something we're really proud of and something we continue to try to find. Uh, ways to make it even bigger than it is now. Well, I got two things. One, that mini Theragun is the death of me because my wife's like, hey, a neck. I'm like, God dang it. You know, but I can't. <laughs> it's mother of my children. It's, it's the mother of my children, you know. So I do it. But uh, it's, it's it's pretty sick that, that mini Theragun is like a little handheld. It's pretty like it's super small and it's like it's badass. But but with GovX, like you haven't gotten so much bigger in 10 years. Like, you know, what's next for you guys? Like, what's, like you got, I mean, how do you get bigger? Yeah, I mean, there's a few things we, uh, like I said, one thing is just getting more exposure for the company. I mean, we, you know, 5 million members is great, but the the potential audience that it qualifies for the site is a lot larger than that. Um, you know, doing things like the commercials you, you're, you're in, that will help in that effort. Um, we want to continue to find ways to make the company more valuable for our members. So like Jamie was saying, you know, it, it's a it's a daily grind to make sure that we're working with brands and trying to negotiate the best prices we can for our members. And we're also trying to find new ways uh, for members to save, even if it's not directly on GovX.com. So that could be working with more sports teams so that they're offering uh, ticket discounts for military and first responders. There are a growing list of brands that are putting uh, our GovX ID, like verification on their own shopping sites. So that our members can save can save there, even if they're not checking out, you know, through our our shopping cart. Um, so that's really growing a lot. And then the third thing ties back to what I was just saying. I mean, we're it it's it's not just words; like it's it's a key part of what we do in thinking about how we can support the community uh, beyond just the prices. And so um, we're we're trying we're actively trying to find more ways to grow GovX Gives Back and. You know, this, the Steve Bay's Corner campaign is just one example of that. So I think, yeah, you know, a combination of brand awareness and doing the right thing. 
John, what, what have you done to give back? Uh, well, nothing, because you use everyone. Uh, Weird. That's not true. Hey, I, 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 I was coming hard. Nice that, was, <laughs> that was rough. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, not at all. Hey. I don't care. So, Aaron, you were uh, just in Cleveland recently to wow. film a commercial. Hey, how he just changed it. I'm going right out there. <laughs> he just hey, changed it. Just because, just because <laughs> I'm a scumbag doesn't mean. <laughs> <laughs> but, nah, no, so friend. Aaron, you were just in Cleveland recently. You were shooting a, like you said, a commercial uh, and stuff for with Stipe. Um, and Jamie. Well, and Jamie. Not, I was getting no, to that point because no. Jamie, Jamie's the real star here. He's out shining Stipe. But I probably tell was, you how, what, dude, it was great being in a commercial shoot because, like, I could actually look at Jamie and not be blinded from the glare coming from his forehead. Uh, there was, there was he had makeup. Lighting. He had makeup on. Makeup and, was, and, and appropriate like, lighting. It was, it was amazing. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's what you look like. You still look like shit, but now, God damn. Aaron, was this the first time you got to meet both Jamie and Stipe? It was. What it was, was awesome. It was really fun. You to ask, what's the impression and or working with either of these two idiots? I mean, I'm not I'm not saying it. Like, the day was a ton of fun. Uh, it was a pleasure to meet them both. I'm not just – it was funny to watch them interact. Uh, Stipe, it was a long day. Jamie stayed a lot longer than he thought he was going to have to. Aaron Stipe I kept in trouble. I, I guess what Stipe, Stipe <laughs> I, try, I tried to make up for it with a with a Garmin watch, Jamie. I, I apologize. Oh, my daughter really um, appreciated that. <laughs> I like mine. Yeah, good, good. Uh, but yeah, Stipe, I mean, Stipe was it was just funny watching him, hearing him. He kept his energy up the whole day. Uh, I, I had a blast. And then for me, Cleveland is a, has a special place in my heart. My dad grew up in Cleveland and in, in South Euclid, and uh, I hadn't been back for a number of years. I don't, I don't have family there anymore. So just being able to be there for a couple of days and seeing the house my dad grew up in, I went to an awesome. Indians awesome. game. It was, a, it was a good couple of days. Nice. What's uh, Guardians game. Guardians game. No, they're, they're, they well, were, they're, they were still the Indians. They're still the Indians. Yeah. We're, we're in a little set of limbo here yeah. because it's the Cleveland <laughs> baseball it's, team. It's, no, a, no, it's like a it's female the, roller derby it's, team it's that a, currently teams. owns like the rights to everything that regarding <laughs> that, the Guardians. That female, really? yeah, that, it, oh, that, that female roller derby team is yeah. going to get paid handsomely. <sighs> Good God bless them. Yeah. I did not know that. But did you, Aaron, did you used to come here um, kind of often as you were growing up? Yeah. What yeah. Kind of, yeah. I mean, I went there. I went there as a kid a lot. Yeah, what, uh, what kind of memories do you have of uh, Cleveland growing up? Uh, freezing my ass off at a Browns game <laughs> one year around Christmas time. Uh, going to Jacobs Field right when it opened. Uh, fishing on Lake Erie, uh, and just hanging out at my grandparents' house. I mean, it was it, it's a different type of environment than San Diego, obviously. So, I I, I loved just being around family when I was there. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. So, but, you. Why are you guys looking at me? Because you're, you're, you're the one who started yeah, talking. Said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you want to do? Like, what did I look at you like? Right. Here, <laughs> this everyone guy. look away. No, yeah. I was going to ask. so right. I was, <laughs> <laughs> no, Aaron, I was going to say, so you, um, you've you been with GovX for about seven years now. My question is, is so in that time span, how often, or not how often, but like what's your, I'm sure you get it all the time, like these really great stories about people that, you know, have used a website or have worked for the charity or worked for charities that you've worked with and stuff like that. Like, what's your probably favorite experience that you've had uh, working with some of these nonprofits or charities and stuff where you feel like, okay, like not only are we, you know, operating a successful business because you're a business person, but at the same time, it's that other multi-layer of, Hey, we're doing something good at the same time. Uh, I like you so far, even though we just met. I think they're just giving Thanks, you. Aaron. I don't know why they're giving you such a hard time. You seem like a good guy to me. Bullshit. Bad golfer, but um, <laughs> <laughs> there's there's there a, there you go. <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot of stories. I think one just because of the proximity here in San Diego that we've gotten to know really well. Um, it was actually the first. It was September that we last supported them, but they're a firefighter organization based here in San Diego called Firefighter Aid. And so when we when we spun up Steep Ace Corner and launched that, they were the first organization that, that benefited from it. Um, but they, we've done a lot of things locally with them. Two that come to mind that were just you know meaningful are in years past they haven't done it this year or last year because of COVID. But the 9/11 stair climb, so that happens all around the country in different venues. But the San Diego one is one of the, the larger ones. So um, this is a really meaningful and fun day where you know, you're know you going up the stairwell of a hotel three times and um, the, the you know, San Diego firefighters are doing it in the, in the full gear. And uh, it's just, it's a really fun experience to be involved with. And then uh, there was one other example with them from a couple of years ago where we had, because we worked with the San Diego Padres, uh, we had an opportunity to take 
uh, a pretty large group of firefighters and their family who are just kind of going through tough times um, mentally or were on leave for, for various reasons. And to be able to share that experience with them at a game, and I don't know if you've seen Petco Park in San Diego, but there's a Western metal building that kind of sits outside of left field and it's a really cool seat and, you know, box area and uh, spending a night with them, the, the nonprofit and the, and the folks who were actually kind of directly benefiting from our company's involvement. That was another one that sticks out in my mind. As somebody who has done the 9-11 stair climb a couple You've of actually times. Done it? Yeah, I did the, um, the tunnel to towers here a couple really? of times. I never knew that. Yeah, so as somebody that's done that in full turnout gear with SCBA and everything else on, um, you described it as a fun and good time. And I want you to know that <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't walk correctly for at least a week. Like it is, uh, that is really, <laughs> yeah. uh, that is a hell of a workout. Hell yeah. of a workout. <laughs> Probably the wrong word. <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I was just about to make fun of Jamie because I would assume that he hasn't done it. And now you oh, just, you're what's sh up, bro? I'm shook, Jamie. Mm -hmm. I'm shook. Yeah, what's up, bro? The, I got to imagine that's got to be a rewarding, uh, a feel, rewarding feeling to see, uh, you know, those families and those members that, you know, sacrificed so much and did so much that, you know, they get to actually like kind of relax and enjoy the day. Um, yeah. we just had, uh, we just had, um, J.R. Martinez on our last podcast. He's a motivational speaker. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and he mentioned the same thing. He's like, a lot of these guys, like they need to be like, you know, either reacclimated if they're an army veteran or stuff like that. And it's just like stuff like that, like kind of helps like kind of reacclimate you a little bit and feel a little bit more normal. And so stuff like that, you know, on a, on a, collaboration effort on your guys's part is huge i think yeah and it, i mean i listened to that podcast i mean he's it it, an amazing person so um yeah i'm mean, a tough act to follow here no stop you, he's a good dude but no this is, you're fine but like don't, <laughs> yeah don't ever no you're good so like with you know like um you know he has all these awesome companies you got like yeti you know danner by the way this is how naive, naive i am so with, with the danner boots i never realize they made like just like regular boots like just, i swear to god <laughs> they're just fire boots i swear to god like because like, every time i go to the, the to the shop to buy them like, there they are you Look, know so which shop are you at uh so yeah the one that sells fire gear Is it? yeah well yeah <laughs> i never went I, I, I never i never went online i i, I usually get the, i usually used to get the unarmed ones do you have any idea how poor a company it would be if all they sold was fire boots they wouldn't, they wouldn't be doing dude, that. I'm well. naive, bro. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Listen, you I, are naive. I am. So yeah. I just want to get my boots. So anyway, so I got them. Uh, the ones, the ones are. Uh, they're just like regular, dude. They're amazing. Oh, they like, make amazing. Oh my god, yeah, they like, make amazing boots. Well, that's, that's why this month. About... That's what I'm promoting. And I'm like, I wear oh, them all the time. <laughs> like, 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 I'm like, dude, they're so comfortable, and they're just they're they're they're, they're the, the style. I like, you know, yeah. and just I got really lucky with, you know, with with the, with the boots. But man, they're sick. And but like, tell me, like, so you can tell me you don't have to tell me, but like, what is your like favorite company that you can't or you believe a company you can't believe like worked with you guys like we're like you're like holy shit or like oh, yeah like, i can't i can't like, i can't say that i know that. exactly <laughs> I, mean, I put you in a hard spot there i feel like, you know, like no yeah. but you know you know uh there's just and i'm not just saying this because it, it's you i'm talking to but uh the one that just came on recently that you, it was our steepest corner pick for september and our some like brent who was there in cleveland with me our, our content team has gotten to know really well Fire fire department coffee. Oh. Uh, those guys have those you guys have just been yet? so fun to. Uh, I haven't yet, but I will. Oh, bro, this and, is be up for like a week, but it's, it's worth it. All right, okay, I'll, I'll get on it. Um, I'm gonna send you some. But th those guys have been a ton of fun. So if I if I have to if I have to say one brand, it's been fun having them come onto the site, getting to know them. A have you better, has and, Jason uh, been out there? Whatever. Has Jason been out? No, there? no, yeah, okay. Jason's a no, not yet. He just got married, by the way. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I was, gonna actually, kid, I was, I was but, gonna appreciate the wedding because I am an ordained right. minister. I, I, I don't know if you know this. We've discussed. I'm an ordained minister, and uh, he asked me to do it. And I said I would probably do it, but the problem was is that my wife gave birth. Um, to the our, problem was that his wife was like, "Yeah, that's not gonna." No, happen. she was in. She was no, she was down. Yeah, I doubt it. He called me personally. Said we are both <laughs> down. So you stop that right now. And I told him I had to decline mm -hmm. because because you had because again my son, selfish baby my my damn mm -hmm. son got in the way. How many things did you miss because of this? Kid? A lot of things. You missed a lot of things. Yeah, yeah a lot of good times. I miss being loved. <laughs> Jesus. You know, I want to. I want to delete that from the. No, 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 we're not going to. No, no, no. I want my wife to do this. <laughs> Haley, <laughs> delete that part. No, no, uh, no, uh, no, yeah, no, he, uh, you know, he, I'm so happy for myself. He got married and all that good stuff. And, you know, he, but he's a great dude. And it's a great company to work for. And it just, 
you know, they always have the great mentality and just, you know, every commercial we've done has always been fun. And the next one's supposed to be a little bit crazier. So I'm actually really excited about this. It's a, it's a typical me commercial. And, and he came with it. And I'm like, my God, are, are we like the same person? Like, because we're like, the mindset was perfect. So if it's perfect for you, there's going to be sub captions so that we can understand 100%. anything you're saying. <laughs> and a thong. And a thong. There you go. That is perfect. Aaron, really quick. So <laughs> what's it like? I know how hard you guys, obviously, like your whole company, you know, you have people set up to do different jobs, whatever, but I'm sure some of those people, their job is to go out and recruit other businesses, find them and work those, those deals with those businesses. When you guys land a company like a Yeti or what, you know, any, any of them, any of these big names, what's it like, like within the company when, when that gets announced, is that like a big party? Or yeah. Like- it's, yeah. It's a lot of excitement. I mean, we're, we're, we've grown, we're, we're about a hundred employees right now. So I, mean, I think we were maybe 35 when I started, but it's still a very like small company feel. We get excited about big things. I mean, um, you know, we'll have an all company meeting tomorrow and like mentioning that I was on this podcast, will just get everybody super excited. Uh, yeah. So when we bring on a big company like Yeti, yeah, that, that gets everybody fired up. And I mentioned it, I, I mentioned it in passing a little bit earlier, but we're, we're starting to bring on more brands where it doesn't necessarily happen through our shopping cart. They, they'll be exposed on GovX, but the, the ultimate transaction will happen on their site. And they're, they're starting to be some, um, some traction there and there's going to be some big wins with big companies coming, you know, especially next year. And so it, anytime that a company of that size and notoriety comes on board, it may just kind of validates, you know, all the energy and effort we're putting into trying to grow this business. Um, well, you know, they sell wedding they're rings, wedding but you're never going to have to buy it. So don't worry about it. That's <laughs> probably true. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I'm I getting what's going on. I'm on fire tonight, dude. Just hey, hey, don't I feel guess. it. Be nice. Man. Why? Be nice. Why must be nice? Because he's going to so get married and usually, I'm going to give a speech. Usually, you dude, get no I, speech. I, I, I will definitely speech. give a speech. Jamie gets no speech. I'm going to be that drunk speech. uncle that gives a speech. <laughs> Terrible. 100%. <laughs> Aaron, I got to imagine, I'm just pivoting as fast as I can away from this topic. <laughs> the I got to imagine when you guys are searching out brands to work with. What? Why? Because you're just being awkward. I'm not being awkward. That's you're the whole point. The uh, I got to imagine. When you, well, yeah, exactly. He's fired. I, I got to imagine when you guys are uh, seeking out uh, other companies to work with. I'm sure there's a element of like shared value, right? Like so, we've mentioned a bunch of these companies. I'm sure there's people that are working within their organization that are going like, oh, we really want to be able to support, you know, first responders, veterans, you know, medical personnel, everything like that. Like. So how important is that when you're like seeking out these brands to work with going like, Hey, we both are coming from the same place and not just like, Hey, this is a write-off for you guys, not, not GovX, but the company yeah. you work with where it's like, Oh, this is like a charity thing we do. It's actually start seeking out companies that have those same shared values. That, I mean, that's, that's kind of what things are built around. I mean, there's, there's no good reason why every brand shouldn't be offering a discount to this community. And, um, and not just like a little discount, like, like Jamie said, you know, if it's not meaningful and your, your time is more important than having to, you know, price check things and all that stuff. So uh, in my opinion, every brand should be offering this and whether that is, uh, you know, something where it's directly sold on govx.com or it's an instance where they want to put our verification service within their own checkout flow uh, and offering a discount that way, they, Every brand should be doing that. Um, so I think the, the conversations, you know, they're not typically that hard to make that clear. Like, the, you're, it's not very often you're going to go to a brand and, and hear that, oh, they don't think that's an important audience to uh, do something extra for. And it's largely just kind of continuing to pound the pavement to, to get in the door and have those conversations. And back to what I was saying about brand awareness, just brands being aware that GovX is an option to, to offer that. And uh, as we do things like TV commercials and work with more nonprofits and, you know, talk to folks like, you know, do good podcasts like this, more people will find out about us, more companies hopefully will know that GovX is an option and that's a, a path for us to grow in the next few years. For sure. That's like, that's a lot of baby steps. That's all it is. Baby stuff. But the one thing I love about it too is like, you know, like sometimes I go on the website and then flash sale. Like, yeah, I didn't realize, but oh shit, you know what I mean? Like, 
sometimes if somebody likes something they don't, but like, like it's there. You know what I mean? It's like a huge sale. Like, I mean, it doesn't get better than that. I'm on this website every day now. Are you really, I'm, I'm okay. My, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I have it actually in my tab right now on my phone. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So no, I feel like yeah. it's just great. Cause like, you know, when maybe like 24 hours or 48 hour sale, you know what I mean? Just whatever it is. You know, it's just, it's great. Cause like there's stuff like you never know. You might not, you know, you, you need like, who knows? You know? Yeah. I happen to be on that site looking for something entirely differently different when I noticed tickets on the one tab. It's like going to the gas station. And I was like, I'm going to get a Snickers bar next to up with a 12 pack, yeah. well, can of right, dip, some, right. some, some slim gyms. You don't know. But it worked out, man. I was looking for tickets for my son's first NHL game, and he's a big Maple Leafs fan. And, uh, uh, you know, and so, oh, you opened the border up too, so you're good now. Well, but that's where Columbus. he wants to go to Toronto, but I was like, let's just go to Columbus. Great trip. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right strip clubs. yeah well I'll i'm not subject. taking them I'll, I'll sub- you can leave in the hotel yeah do think? i don't think the wife would appreciate that she doesn't even know yeah so yeah that's where i got i, I ended up with two tickets uh for the blue jackets first maple nice. leafs off of that site great. got a great discount on it's awesome club level oh got a waitress wow it's fantastic so it's kind of like a strip club Didn't why, why are we i'm telling i'm talking about this <laughs> not he's a grown-ass man he's not he's, he's a goalie ten. he's considered a grown-ass he's a man he's, a he's got a mullet yeah <laughs> anyway so let's go off subject here a little bit and just uh so like i mean you know govax is awesome everything but like you know besides like govax like what do you do like just like in san diego do you like surf i mean what's, what's going on i don't uh i've got two kids i coach their soccer teams yes. uh, i have a one-year-old dog that is crazy um so those those two things on their own keep me pretty busy actually all it's, right let's uh, get into this aaron how old are the kids <laughs> Eight and six, so third grade, first grade, um, best kids ever. That's awesome. But I, I, I heard you all talking about, you know, parenting and uh, the ups and downs on on the previous episodes, and yeah. I'm right there with you. It's not all not all easy for sure. Yeah, I'm neglecting my son right now, my daughter, because I'm, hey, I'm, all, I'm so all so am I. Cryptocurrency. I mean, I'm always on the app and just. I said, I said, do not, do not come into this room. Go play on your tablets. And, right. Uh, That's what I do. I'll be done in a little while. Yeah. My problem is my daughter doesn't bother, doesn't care. She just does what she wants. And. But we love. I love when she comes. You to love my daughter. Podcast. My daughter. I don't know what it is about Jamie, but my daughter is infatuated with him. She's That's like Jamie. I'm, my dad. I'm a girl dad, no, dude. For, she no, knows it for sure. She looks at you and she thinks you're like Santa Claus. Yeah. Well. Because you're old and shit. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> My my only I Stipe said, Oh, I'm neglecting my kids right now. And I thought he was that's a joke. because he's taking care of <laughs> other kids being me and Jamie. Mm-hmm. But that's not necessarily the case. Hey Aaron, whatever you well, do. I kind of have to. I mean, you, you use me. That's, wow. I'm just saying, I don't know what I don't know where this is coming from. This is great. I love I've it. been over here too long. We've been here for too yeah, long. Yeah, it actually is. Yeah. So I Aaron, what I was gonna say too was like, don't let Stipe take you to or take your kids to the hockey game. <laughs> <laughs> God knows where they're gonna wind up. <laughs> Maybe you get great stakes. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I took him to a Padres game this year, and that was. Uh, yeah, not not probably that hockey game experience, but it was the first time where they actually kind of got into being interested in being in a sport. Yes. To be honest, yes. And part of it, part of it was just getting the foam fingers. Uh, you, oh, you got, I got the foam the awesome. foam fingers for him, and then all of a sudden, it's just a competition to see who can get on the jumbotron. Yeah. Um, well, hold on real quick, Aaron. We've had this conversation amongst ourselves in regards to Browns games and bringing your kids. So you, I think a baseball game is the best yes. way to go yeah, with little question. kids. Bring, nice bring day. kids to a, a professional game, mm-hmm. right? At Browns games, I think you can get away with taking little kids to a preseason game. No, a regular yeah, season Loge. game, regular season game. Can't do it. Loge. I've taken Who's the bougie one now? I've taken both. I said I'm bougie. He's got to go loge. I've taken both of my kids to preseason games. Yeah. Um, they played the Eagles a couple of years ago. Stipe was kind enough to get me field passes, mm. but I also had yeah. the, I had tickets in the dog pound and I was oh. able to take both of them to the dog pound really? and it was awesome. Yeah. Interesting. For I will, preseason. For preseason. That's I will not, they were not going to a regular season yeah, okay. game unless I have like a loge or club seats. Yep. There's yeah. no way. See? There was. Oh, yeah, club yeah. Seat. Well, yeah. Go ahead, Aaron. What were you? The saying? other, the other way, the other way to go is uh, minor league games. I yeah, think. yeah. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a there's a minor league hockey team here. Uh, there's a minor league soccer team here, and there's just you know it's a little more up close. You can see the action, and it's, they actually like not, cater to children. It's awesome. Right. Yeah. Really? yeah, we our last uh, our last game that we went to as a family was in Nashville. We went to the Nashville Sounds game. Oh, badass. amazing! Minor really? league. It was awesome. They, they play the same as the Predators, like same arena. Uh, this is uh, uh, 
baseball. Oh, baseball. Yeah, okay, yeah, gotcha, baseball. gotcha. Okay. Yep. So yeah, that is a way to go. That is an awesome way to go. It's, it's, way it's different. Yeah, I was, I, I was, I was obsessed with sports as a kid. I mean, it's just, I, I remember I, I grew up in, in Tucson, Arizona, and I remember I think there's a picture of it floating around at my parents' house somewhere, but I literally set up like a Browns shrine in front yeah. of the TV. And it was, you know, back then you, if I got a Browns game on TV in Tucson, it was a special occasion. Uh, oh, yeah, but I, I, at a young age, I was just all about that stuff. And it's just, at least for my kids, it's not, I don't know if it's them or if it's the, the, the generation, but there's not as into it. But despite yeah, my I think efforts. it's, I think there's just too many other distractions, man. I, I really, yeah. I feel the same way. Mine, mine are now, so mine are 10 and 12 and they're just now starting to get way more into, um, into the actual teams and sports. I mean, they're, they've always been into playing sports, but now they're really like sitting down and watching an NFL game where they didn't in the past. So it's coming. Yours, yours, well, yours yeah. will get there. Well, uh, so there it is. So, it's about kids and like I love it. They talk about the last podcast about what my daughter did to another kid. The party. Yes. Yep. So like, I don't, Aaron. Like I don't know if your last one, but like my 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 daughter like beat the shit out of another kid. And like I, I walked outside. Don't, sugar, don't sugarcoat it. I know. <laughs> yeah, I walk outside. She had this kid in the headlock and pretty much just pummeling him. And I'm like, oh my god, stop! And in my mind, I'm like, just finish it. You know what I mean? Like I was like, help. But like you know, and then and then this week we I get a I walk in to pick her up from her daycare school, and they're like, "Hey, can you sign this?" I'm like, "What'd she do?" And she's like, "Well, a kid, you know, they got in a scuffle, and she scratched the kid." And I'm like, "Oh, well, she won't do it again." I'm like, "Good job." You know what I mean, like, <laughs> so I just didn't know. I, can, I feel like my kid's not like nice, <laughs> but she's a sweetheart. She's amazing. She's a sweetheart, but I, I think she doesn't take any shit from anyone. That's the problem, which is that's exactly what I want. Yeah, she doesn't get that from you though. That's the funny thing. Right, she I wonder where she gets that from. from. Mother. Weird, mm, huh? Strange, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Apple doesn't fall too far from no, the tree. No, it doesn't. Interesting. How's she doing as a, uh, a big sister? Actually, she loves it. She, uh, she's, she's very caring. You know what I mean, she doesn't really get too jealous. I mean, at times she's like, "Dad, put brother down, play with me." So, like, one of us will have to, you know, take him. But like, he, she really doesn't get like. You know what I mean, she's like, oh, he's so cute. I love him so much. She'll give him kisses and. It should be annoying once in a while and try to put her hand in his face. Like you can't suffocate your brother, like stop, you know, like we're good. But overall, she's she's a great big sister. She loves him and you know, she really isn't too jealous. She has her moments, but not like a like a tantrum or anything, more just like, hey, put him down, play with me. So one of us will have to yeah. you know, tag along with her. But it's great. Like she's she's doing great. We're very lucky. Good. As I say that now and tomorrow she'll have a freaking meltdown. <laughs> Aaron, you you mentioned uh you mentioned you were a brown, you had like a brown shrine when you were growing up and then your kids kind of haven't latched onto that. So, and Jamie mentioned distractions. So we were talking about this right before you came on and we're Cause probably- I'm an island boy. Yeah. So <laughs> have you, have you, do you have TikTok or anything like that? Like, I'm so I'm, no. I'm, I'm out of touch. I don't have TikTok. Jamie, who is the oldest member of our podcast, is all about TikTok. TikTok. He's a teeny bopper. At one point before we started, he goes, oh, it's these guys, these Island Boy guys aren't on my FYP page. Mm -hmm. His For You page. Or FYP. FYP. Your FYP. Sorry. So have you seen, this is completely unrelated, but we (laughs) can't stop singing. We can't stop singing it before this started. (laughs) Any Island Boys? (laughs) So, no, but that, that's the next thing I'm going to check out. You yeah, have to. This. As soon as we finish this podcast, you got to open yeah. it up. And it's going to make you <laughs> hate. It's going to make you hate the world. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. so happy. It, it's, like, <laughs> it's the biggest it, amount of social media trash ever. And, you're and this, is, it this is why kids aren't. Yeah. Well, you're going to watch it and go, don't show it to your kids, but you're going to watch they it. See you're going to go. You're gonna go Oh my God. Like, I really hope this doesn't become a popular thing. And it's, it's already, already popular. Popular. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's already, Why? Cause he's an island boy. It doesn't oh. show up on my FYP. <laughs> so like, it's popular. Yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't show up on mine either, but I get Steve, like, Steve has got TikTok now too. Yeah. I do. What? I just started. Yeah. Oh, I'm not doing it. I got yes, too much. Are. I got so, too many social media. You're doing it already. You're doing it. I'm going to keep sending between you the, stuff. Between the Bumble and the Tinder and all the other things. I'm going to keep sending you Grindr. golf stuff. Yeah. Terrible. Oh, speaking of which, I and Aaron, I apologize, but I do have to ask this question. What'd you go for is Halloween? Did oh, you do it? What did you? For, yeah, I was a, oh. I copped out a little bit. I cut man, I, I put something on, but I just did the uh you know the onesie skeleton that oh, I could Oh yeah, I do I want to do like the, the karate kid one. Simple. I'm like karate What's that? Kid. I always wanted to uh, it, it was honestly just basic onesie oh. skeleton, old That's school way to classic. Go. Uh, That's way to go. my I'm son gonna... was a de- my son was a dementor. From Harry Potter, yes. and my daughter was uh, 
I don't remember the character's name, but the movie The Greatest Showman. Yeah. And yeah. It, there's like an acrobat uh, a character in there and, and it's got pink hair and that's that's, that's cool. what she was. Yeah. That's so. awesome. My daughter was Snow White or something like that. And then she changed it. I saw she had multiple. It, yeah. And then she was a uh, Simba or Nala. Mm-hmm. And then my little man who's two months was a dickhead. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. He was a, a, a what? <laughs> I, I said he was a dickhead. No, no, he, I, he was supposed to be a cub, but he was actually sleeping, so it was actually worked out well for us. There you go. Yeah. So no, we had a great time. We, uh, my daughter was actually we were walking around the neighborhood. We, I'm not joking. We literally did like thirty houses, and she's like, "Dad, I gotta go poop." Mm-hmm. And we're out. I'm like, poop. <laughs> "We ran back." It was, it was getting cold though. I think that was her. That was her sign like she wanted yeah. to go back in, and she, we went back in. You know, she definitely did. did so did mine, mine went. Uh, the daughter was a, an insane clown, something killer clown or whatever, and my son went as a hillbilly, and it was an incredible costume because he's so got he didn't change anything. He's got the mullet. <laughs> yeah. He had like a cut off flannel overalls. Like it was actually a pretty great costume. But this was the first year we went to the same place we always go. First year I could just sit inside and drink some beers while yeah. they went. Yeah, and I had no, I didn't have to go with them. They That's just brought they just awesome. brought candy back to me. Oh, it's it incredible! So much. Yeah. But you know what? My when we got back to my in laws, my daughter actually helped uh, her grandpa. She had more fun passing out candy That's than cool. she did at like, getting it. Like yeah. you know I mean, because she gets it whatever she wants. She gets candy whatever she wants. But her like she was like, oh, the kids are here. She ran up, and I'm like, I'm on my phone, like, have fun, go look at that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I had to worry about it, you know. But it was cool. Good, good. John, what'd you go as, bud? Well, uh, I love the idea of Halloween, but I hate putting in a ton of effort for costumes. So I'm all about functionality. So Aaron, I can appreciate your skeleton onesie because that's right up my alley of like what I would yeah. want to do. Uh, I, I went to a, uh, dark Disney dark, park, dark, I went to a dark Disney party. And, um, so I think the idea behind it was, Oh, you're going to be like, uh, like Disney villains or whatever I went as, and Jamie, you'll appreciate this because there's a touch of hockey in here. I went as Charlie Conway from the Mighty Ducks. Yes. Cool if he missed the triple deke. So oh. because <laughs> I have this ridiculous, because I have this ridiculous beard and like long, gross hair right now, I uh, wore sunglasses the whole night. I had a bathrobe on over the Charlie Conway jersey. I was wearing sweatpants. You actually have a Charlie Conway jersey? Yeah, I got oh, one off those Amazon. Are, those are pretty popular. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So I was Charlie Conway if he missed the triple D. Okay, so that's incredible. There was a lot of thought put into that, and I, I appreciate that. That's actually, have, that's actually really good. I I was the most, really good. I was the most comfortable person at the entire party. I have one question. You said you, you had sunglasses the whole time. Yeah. Did you wear them indoors? Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> previous previous yeah. topic. You hypocrite. It's a reflection. You of hypocrite. You yes. son of a bitch. So, Aaron, a couple podcasts ago, I like so, raged. Actually, I was thinking about this. I, I was thinking about this. On. Aaron, I raged on some girl, uh, not personally, but at this, we were at a bar, and this no, girl was wearing much sunglasses much inside the entire time, and I was like, "This is the most ridiculous thing ever." And then you did it. Mine is part of a Halloween costume. Doesn't matter. It. It's not the same. So, and Jamie, funny bring this up because i was thinking about this this week i go man i was really funny about what really what really annoyed me remember that i don't know if it's still a thing but like four or five years ago all those chicks were like the high not high-rise jeans oh yeah oh yeah, my the mom god jeans. the mom I jeans yeah the mom jeans. fucking hate them dude, dude yeah so much yeah so Is much still, i haven't seen them much i still john you know i don't, I don't know i'm married uh, I think they're still around. Still, yeah. Bro, yeah. I don't know what it, like, it, it could be the hottest girl in the world, but she's wearing them like this. That I'm was, out. Yeah, you were out on those. I'm out, dude. I just couldn't do it. I just. To all you moms out there, whatever you want to wear, I'm, I'm down for it. Yeah, for we're going to go the other whatever. way. We totally support you. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. All you got to do is be like an island boy. Oh, no, no, God. All right. Listen, on that note, Aaron, we've taken up enough of your time, man. We uh, we genuinely appreciate you coming on with us. I know you got the kids. Uh, you threatened them with violence if they come in. <laughs> we don't, uh, don't want them to, to get to get hurt or injured. So, listen, man, we we really appreciate you coming on. We really appreciate the the partnership with you guys. And, uh, you know, we hope you come back and uh, come do a Browns game with us. Yeah, we'll do. We'll take care of him. Love we'll to. I went, we'll be treated like Bouge because we'll go to Loge and be taken care of. I went, to the, uh, I went to the Browns Chargers game in that new stadium in L.A. a couple weeks ago. That was oh, like oh, 40, man. whatever, 40, whatever. Yeah. It was so much fun. That stadium. Uh, crazy. Yeah, it doesn't even I mean. That's, it doesn't I, even feel like a stadium from the outside. It looks nuts. I mean, it looks it is. from TV and like what I, what we've seen of it. We have our we have our stadium that gets tell, snowed on all the time. Tom Browns versus Chargers. Do you remember like seven years ago we played like one game? It was like really sleeting sideways. Yes, we won like three nothing. I was at that game. Me too. Mm-hmm. 
I was at the Brownstown. Yep. And that, and that was back when the Browns did not win very often. No, so no. it was a big deal. Yeah. It was like yeah. six, three or something yeah. like that. It was like field goals. And yeah. It, yeah. So yeah. I remember that. That's, sorry. Go okay. Browns. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Go <laughs> back. Uh, yeah. yeah. Guys, thanks for, thanks for, ha- thanks for having me. I, I really enjoyed hanging out. And, uh, yeah, well, first appreciate it. Well, Aaron, real quick, I was going to say, can you yeah. tell everybody how they can register for uh, their like GovX? Uh, ID yeah. Yeah. Right? So if, uh, if, you, if you're eligible for the site, go to govx.com, the govx.com. Uh, it takes a few clicks. There's a couple different ways to verify your eligibility and you'll be on the site saving on a whole lot of brands. All right. Awesome. And you'll be supporting nonprofits at the same time. So win-win. Win-win. All right. right. Hey, Aaron, thanks for coming on, man. We appreciate it. Uh, Everybody, if you want to reach out to us, you can reach us at the period jabs period podcast at gmail.com. You can find us on YouTube at jabs podcast or just search jabs podcast, like subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter at jabs podcast. You can find steep Amy Ochich on all social media platforms at steep Amy Ochich. You can find Jamie at Mechalek, M-E-K-A-L-E-K. You can find me at J.P. Chubak. It's like Chubak with a C-A. And if you uh, fall in line as a firefighter, military, military family, law enforcement, emergency medical, or government employee, go to govx.com, join, and uh, help support some nonprofits. Bro, at the same you time again, so good deals. at the, you that out now? So good. It's on his iPad. It's got to be. Yeah. Well, the list of the people yeah, that are eligible on is on my No, no, iPad. no, Everything no, no. Is, man, it's like yeah. all bullshit. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. See you. All right, bye. We hate you guys.